Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going today? I am the Digital Ham, and today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to get your mic set up uh, with all your presets for recording your audio for your videos. Um, a commenter had asked me if I could show him how to do the one-click method, as I had stated in my CAD U37 microphone review. Um, this is a very simple process, pretty straightforward. I think that um, it's going to help out some people, some people not really, um, and that's perfectly fine. The product that I'm using today is FL Studio 10. I have the uh, Producers Edition, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this. It's going to be very simple, straightforward, and hopefully it's helpful to you um, and everybody else. So here we go. We're going to click on it, open up our program. And so what I want to show you is um, the quickest way that I've found to do this, and, and by no means am I a master at FL Studio. It is constantly uh, changing, evolving, and becoming uh, probably one of the best audio editing and creation uh, style uh, softwares out there. Um, what I do is I actually set up a file. Um, this is a file that is never the same from every time that I click on it. Um, every time that I use it, it always changes, but this is called uh, mic setup. I just named it that. That way I don't have to get it messed up with uh, or um, distinguished from any of my other files, which you can see there are quite a few that are not that, well, they could conflict. Uh, you have one recording set up, and so it, this is the one that I know after a period of time of doing this, that this is the one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it up. Now right here, you're going to see that I have the uh, recording that I had previously made for my video um, that I did for my CAD U37 microphone review. Now I'm going to explain something real quick with everyone. And that way I can clarify so I don't get people confused. I do not archive my audio files, meaning when I got done with this, um, this right here means nothing to me. This uh, file that has all of my audio recording on it from the video, I'm not going to keep it. The reason being is, is um, what I do is I take the edited audio, the edited video, put them together inside my audio or video editing software, and I edit my video there, but not my audio. Um, I'll explain that more in here in a few seconds. Um, I merge those two together. And the reason being is, is nine times out of ten, most of your cameras that you're going to buy are not going to have the quality of sound that you're going to want out of your videos. So um, I just record them separately and merge them together in my audio or my video software and edit them together, and it comes out a lot better. Um, so there's no real sense in keeping these raw forms of video or audio. Um, <coughs> to me, it doesn't really make any sense. So that's why I do that now that explains the reason why I can go back in here and just delete shit is because it doesn't really matter um, so here we have our master mixer this is where you mix all your audio and do uh, a lot of the adjustments on levels and stuff like that and these are racks so you're gonna have one through I don't even know how many but I'm gonna click on number one rack and what you're going to see here is you're going to see Edison at the top. Edison is my recording program that I use in FL Studio to do all of my recording. I do not use the one-click easy method that FL Studio uh, provides because I don't believe it has the intricacies and things that I like about it um, as much as Edison does. Edison is a great uh, recording and uh, editing software in and of itself. So I use that, and I can show you what that looks like. This is this is the Edison program. All of this is highlighted is uh, my audio. Once again, it's uh, one is on my actual timeline. The other one is actually in the recording. But these are the two of the same thing here. Um, but this representation right here shows the waveform, everything like that. Um, and so this is how I do it. I can sit here and watch my peaking and, and all this stuff. And so what I do is I set up my audio inside of my rack. 
you will see all of my audio presets. And I say presets because they never change, they're all the same. And what you're going to find here is you're going to find the FL or Fruity Limiter. Um, this is one of the ones that I use. I use the Fruity Compressor. I also use the Fruity Parametric EQ. I also use the Multiband Compressor. Um, I also use the Fruity Filter and also the Fruity Reverb. So those are all of my presets. <clears throat> I have them residing in the same rack that I also put my editing software in and my recording software, which is all of the same. And what I do is I pull this up and say I'm getting ready to record my video. You know, I start off and I come up here and you'll see that this is all highlighted. What I do is boop, push. Well, that didn't work. Made a liar out of me. There it goes. Went bye bye. I push delete and it deletes the entire thing. And what I do is I come up here, push record. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm the digital ham, do my spiel, blah, 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 and here it comes. It's it's going to be feeding into this source. Now, I'm not going to hit record because it's not going to record anything. The bandy cam that I'm using right now is my primary source. It's using my driver to record the audio that you're hearing from me right now. That's why the audio quality is not the same as all my videos. Um, this is just, uh, just so you can see my face and try to help you along in this process. But this is how it's done. I hit record once I am finished. The great thing about Edison is you can do a lot of cutting, splicing, uh, changing of the different things like you have a EQ here. And I use the noise removal to um, quiet down the background noise and uh, sometimes the reverberal um, reverb in the room. Um, and so it's a, it's a great product. And from here I can go ahead and put it into my timeline. Um, and then I can also export it as an MP3 file. Once, and this is what I love about this program, once it's in my editing software, and talking about my video editing software, um, it's ready to go. It's already been cut, spliced, cleaned up, edited, all that stuff. So it's ready to go. It's just a matter of placing it where I want to place it, you know, doing the cut scenes where I want to do cut scenes, which I generally try to keep out of that stuff because it's labor intensive and editing takes long enough as it is so but that is it I mean once it's done there it's a done deal and I can do this over and over and over and over and over again and what all I do is once I get done recording and I've, I've exported it I just click save and then I come back in and delete it and do the same process over again delete everything that I have sorry about that delete everything that I have and start from scratch again the only thing that is remaining is editing the editing software that I'm using, recording software, is Edison, and all of my presets are the same. That's it. I don't even change anything. I don't touch anything. Just leave it be. Um, and that is it in a nutshell. So um, I hope that this has been helpful for you guys. I hope it's not too, I'm not losing you guys and tracking what I'm trying to say, but uh, hopefully that that helps you guys out. Thanks once again for watching my video. I greatly appreciate it. Appreciate all the support. If there's any comments, questions, please let them uh, let me know in the bottom section in the comment section. Um, remember to like, subscribe, and comment. You guys have a wonderful day and take care.